Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to utilize the as numeric and as factor functions in order to change uh, the characteristics of variables uh, within uh, a data frame. So uh, what I have right here is, um, I'm actually just gonna uh, demonstrate um, new data right here. This is a data frame that, uh, that I've been utilizing in a couple of videos. Uh, we have uh, variables of political party, uh, interest, motivate, achieve, and gender. And what I want to do is to, um, let's say, let's take a quick look at the structure of the variables that are contained in this data frame. So uh, the data frame is called new data. We're going to use the str function in order to look at it. And so you can see that Paul party is recognized as a factor. Interest is recognized as numeric, as are the remaining variables. So let's say that I want to change uh, the interest variable. I want to convert this into a factor. Well, we can do this pretty easily uh, in the following way. First off, we type in the name of the data frame, which is new data in this case. Follow that up with a um, dollar sign, and then the variable that we want to convert. Um, so in this case, again, we're converting interest from a numeric uh, variable to one that is a factor variable. So I'm gonna type in interest, which is the name uh, of the variable that we're, um, that we're converting. So now we will uh, type in an arrow and then use the as period numer uh, as, excuse me, factor function. We'll type in a uh, new uh, parenthesis here and we'll type in new data, dollar sign and interest and then uh, in parentheses. So notice what's going on. We're, uh, this is basically indicating the data frame we're working with and the variable that we are, um, that we're, that we're uh, changing the characteristics on. Um, we can just, we can basically say that we're, we are coercing uh, this variable from numeric to factor using the as dot factor function. And so, um, so this is just uh, the function that's applied to this so that the new data frame uh, will contain um, the new version of interest. So I'm gonna hit enter and then type in new data. And you can see it's, it looks the same, but now when we type in uh, str for structure and then new data, you'll see that now the interest variable is recognized as being a factor. So we've now converted the characteristics of the interest variable from numeric to uh, factor. Let's say that we wanna convert it back uh, to numeric, then we can use the as numeric um, function. So what we'll do is we'll just, again, we'll type in new data, dollar sign, and interest, and then uh, our arrow, and then we'll type in as period numeric, and then we'll type in new data, dollar sign, interest, and then uh, enter. And so now when we look at the structure of our, of our uh, data, you can see that now the interest variable has been converted back to numeric. So um, that you know that's basically the application of the as factor as numeric uh, functions. The reason why this can be really important is because when you're working in R with different um, uh, functions, um, you know when you're trying to carry out different analyses, um, they those analyses uh, the functions that are utilized make assumptions about the characteristics of your data. And uh, you know some may make uh, you know may assume that uh, a variable is uh, numeric, uh, but if your data is in uh, is being recognized as a factor, then you're going to need to convert that numeric variable into a factor, and vice versa. So uh, this is just a quick way uh, in order to be able to do that. Um, if you uh, didn't want to do it this way, uh, one of the uh, a previous video that I showed you, you could accomplish the same things by going through the edit uh, data editor uh, option right here. And if we type in the name of the data frame, which is new data in this case, click on OK, um, you know, we can go back and forth. We can, you know, change it to character, which in R, um, a character uh, variable is going to be recognized as a factor. It's going to be treated as such. So if I change that and then click out of here and then look at the uh, uh, structure, you can see that it's being recognized as a character, but um, <clears throat> in terms of uh, its usage in uh, statistical operations, it's gonna be recognized and treated as a factor. If I wanna convert this back to, um, uh, to numeric, then I could certainly do that. Uh, just gonna go back into the, uh, uh, the data editor 
and uh, you know change this to type numeric. And so now when we look at um, our variable, you can see that now interest is again being recognized as numeric. Uh, 